I see a common denominator in sports and it's something that uh, I have an affinity for, always have had an affinity for and I want to talk a little bit about. So any context about myself, I would, there are so many things a person could say about themselves, you know, where they're born and grew up and school and all that. But I want to talk more about my, my, uh, my context, the context of uh, sport uh, and, and my life. I, uh, my family, when I was uh, very young, from the time I was born, owned a, uh, a house on a lake. And so uh, I learned how to swim at a very young age. And swimming is a solo sport. And I understood it as a solo sport. I didn't know going fast or competing or anything like that. You know, a five-year-old doesn't really know about those things. All I knew was that I liked gliding through the water and I got good at it. And the part I liked about it was the grace of it. It looked, I felt like a fish. And uh, fishes are, move through the water without being twitchy and splashy. They glide through the water. So I modeled my swimming to, uh, to gliding, not that I was swimming with the dolphins or had any supernatural experience of that kind, but uh, it, it was, I swam around the lake and it was uh, a very rich experience for me. And then I had, a, then I had my own canoe uh, and I tried to replicate that grace in having a canoe with the, uh, with the gliding of the paddle with the, uh, the grace of the motion of the paddle. And I also got to like that feeling. Also, there certainly was nothing competitive about that, competitive about that or going fast or going slow. But what enamored me was, was the, the, the smoothness of the motion and the, the grace of the motion and the follow through of the motion. So I'm starting to my work my way into sport because later I, uh, I started to play ping pong, which I got probably pretty, pretty good at, and then tennis and then uh, golf later on and, uh, and pool, a pool. Uh, and all those, all those sports have stroke to them. Stroke is, is, uh, is the basic element of, of those, uh, whether it's a golf swing or a tennis stroke or a, a pickleball stroke. Uh, there is a certain grace and movement where a person is allowing, as Matthew says, their range of motion to be set free and not be, <clears throat> not be uh, restricted by any of the things that can go wrong and by what your partner is going to say and all these kind of things that happen in competitive sports or when you're trying to perform. But I was fortunate enough not to be uh, exposed to that, so I always liked the, the stroke and the follow through. And I found that uh, that uh, learning, that uh, training period, uh, which I felt was very natural, uh, uh, allowed me to enter into other areas of life, or whether it was finance or whether it was uh, building things and uh, these things that Matthew's talking about, going to uh, do social work in foreign countries where people are in need, that stroke and follow through is a theme in my life. And I can talk about stroke and follow through in about, in about uh, any subject there is.